almost every profession that you can think of, that you, you talk to somebody like a writer, you, you say, I want to be a writer. What does it take to be a writer? And real writers, because I wanted to be a writer, uh, real writers will say something like, well, you know, the test is, do you wake up in the morning and start writing? And can anybody stop you? If, if nobody can stop you from writing, then you're a writer. If you, if, you, if you are not writing anything, then you're not a writer. So it's a question of where's your passion? What, what problem are you trying to solve? Where do you find yourself spending your time? You could be uh, someone who likes to do proofs. You could be someone who likes to develop new mathematical techniques for analyzing data, and you don't care where the data comes from. And there's tons of problems that that need to be solved, that would be general mathematical problems. Or you could be someone like me, you say there's a couple of problems I want to understand about molecular evolution, um, and I'm going to need applied mathematics techniques to do it. Um, and ultimately, I don't care how I get there, but I want the answers to the biological problems, and then that's the motivating, that's what gets me up in the morning. There's no, there's no magic answer. Uh, it's really where the personal, pa where, where one's personal, personal passion is. What, what are you curious about? What problem do you really want the answer to before you die? I mean, this is the, this is the objective of research. This is what makes it different from a lot of other pr professions, because you really are saying, of all the things in the world, there's this one problem at least for the moment, you know, for the next five or ten years, I really want the answer to this problem. And hopefully you solve it, and then you look around and you say, okay, here's another problem that in the next five or ten years I'd, I'd really like to solve. But I think the key is to be passionate about solving a problem.